channel if you're new here my name is clara and i'm actually in the process of moving so you've stumbled upon me during moving week it's wednesday and i'll be moving on saturday from arlington virginia which is right outside of washington dc to raleigh north carolina i live with my boyfriend we both work from home and we've lived in this area for a couple years now and we just wanted to try out something new so we're gonna go down to raleigh and we visited a couple times and we've just liked it so we're just gonna try it out maybe for a year or two there and then who knows where we'll be like five years from now but i'm so excited for the move kind of like the nervous phase of things hasn't really set in yet i've moved so many times in the past couple years between college and then between apartments up here and i've never used movers but i'm using movers this year and i'm so excited i think it's kind of helping with my stress and nerves because i keep getting questions like are you stressed or nervous and not yet i think it's going to set in like later in the week like i said it's only wednesday but I'm so excited to use movers. I just have to pack everything up into boxes, but the moving company actually wraps all the furniture and I'm pretty sure they'll disassemble stuff if it needs to be. I don't know, I should look into that. But anyways, today's goal is to pack the bathroom and pack the entryway closet. I ordered some boxes from Amazon and they didn't come until late last night, so that's why I haven't done any packing yet. But I kind of already did like some Goodwill purging, you know, like I already went through and donated a lot of stuff that I knew I didn't want to move with like right off the bat. So I think we're in a good place. Oh my gosh, I went to, I can't believe I forgot to say this already. I went to Home Goods yesterday and literally hit the lottery. I freaked out. Wait until you see what I got. The first thing I got is this white boucle bench. I almost screamed when I saw this. I don't know if the detail is really coming up through on camera. But then the next thing I got was this acrylic desk. I saw this here a couple weeks ago and they dropped the price a little bit so I finally bought it. But this is gonna be my desk in the primary bedroom. And then this, which I was previously thinking would be my desk, is actually gonna go in the entryway because I don't know if you can really tell on camera but this is like a little bit wider than that. So I think it'll be nice to have the extra space in like the clear acrylic one and then from home goods i also got this cool black bowl that'll just be like a fruit bowl i thought it would look cool against the black countertops i'm really embracing the black countertops if you can't tell per usual i just keep like all the receipts and tags on everything because once i see it in the space then i'll kind of decide if i want to keep it but when i see it especially at a place like an outlet or home goods then i just buy it in the moment because i don't want to like count on it being at a location near where we're going the only other things i've really bought and are like moving supplies like i bought a bunch of space bags some tape some like padding um the boxes obviously but i haven't really gotten any more furniture pieces i think um i did actually buy one speaking of returning stuff i did actually buy something that i need to return today it was this like white storage bench i don't even know if you can see that i got this like white storage bench from target um but then as soon as i saw that like boost by bench i was like yeah i want that instead so they were the same price actually this boot clay bench was the bouquet <laughs> i can't even say it the target bench and this like beautiful boucle bench were the same price they were both 180. so i was like i think in the long run this home goods bench will kind of serve us better serve me better and i'm literally using that target return as an excuse to go back to that home goods because there's even more stuff that i wanted to get but anyways i'm gonna finish drinking my green smoothie and then Let's start packing up the bathroom. I just made a coffee. I didn't get any milk this week because I'm obviously trying to like reduce the number of perishables that we have to travel with. So it's just an Americano. It's nothing exciting. I don't even really, I mean, I do want to drink it, but I just want there to be cream. I'm going to start in the bathroom by putting aside like every product we're going to like continuously need to use. So like shampoo and stuff, basically like we're traveling, kind of just like what products do we need for the next like week? And that way there's no rush to unpack in the new place. So let me collect the stuff that I absolutely want to have moving forward for the next couple days. Obviously shampoo and conditioner. Face wash. This is the La roche say that I like. This is the one that my boyfriend likes. We're going to keep them both. I can probably live without my body scrub for a couple days. So I'll just do body wash. Alright, I think this is everything we need in the shower for the next couple of days. And then I'll just like put this in a separate bag right before we leave. Shampoo, conditioner, face wash, bunch of body washes. These are like almost empty, so we'll just use these up before we move. Face wash and then our razors. Now I need to do something about the sink area and obviously my skincare shelves. I'm gonna put everything back technically where it belongs first, so that way I'm not packing out of order. Do I pack in like a bag? I'm so tired. Like, I don't want to pack. 
I have so many larger like cosmetic and travel bags that I think I'm gonna pack the products into these and then I'll put these into boxes because I think it's just gonna be a mess and I'm gonna break stuff if I just put like products in a cardboard box. So let's get to it. tackle like the actual vanity now and then I'll pack everything into a box and probably do just like a surface clean I'm gonna do all my deep cleaning on Friday I think oh shoot I almost forgot the shower curtain all right let's go into the sink okay it's 1230 I thought I would be done by now I do have two boxes packed so these two while well, there's still a little room and this top one um, I have all my makeup in this drawer, so I'm kind of going through that and then packing up one last toiletry bag to like throw on top of there. But all of, I was FaceTiming my friend, all of the products I'll need for like the next couple days and like the mover in here, this is all like face and hair care and stuff. Then this is my makeup, but this is what we're working with. That's like a whole trash bag full of like expired products. And then I just have random stuff all around. This is the situation. I'm going to take a break for lunch eating this little burrito bowl thing that I made, but I finished clearing out these drawers right here, and I have a theory that things have fallen behind them. So I'm gonna do my best to actually remove this bottom drawer just to see if anything has fallen back there. Should be pretty easy. I feel like there's gonna be a screw. It's the moment of truth. This should pull out. Wait a minute. Y'all, I don't think I had to unscrew that at all. Let's put these back in. I just remember I used to have those Alex drawers from Ikea. And if something fell behind the drawers in the Alex drawer system, then you literally had to take apart one of the drawers. Oh my gosh. Do you see all that? Okay, we're done in the bathroom now. All of my stuff is here on the back of the toilet. And then that's all the stuff that... I thought my boyfriend might need toilet paper, trash can, hand soap, hand towel. Obviously, we'll just get all packed up the last day. But all of this is cleared out and all of these are. And now I just have two boxes and the zebra. I need to figure out how to package up the zebra. Someone in my building ordered something from Framebridge. So I stole their box out of the recycling room and hopes that the zebra would fit. I think it might fit in there. I just printed some stickers to put on the outside of boxes. I just got a lot of like blank tiny labels and I'm using a thermal printer that I used to use for shipping labels back in the day, but now I'm using it for packing labels and they're kind of cute, pink. And I got to choose the font. I just made the sticker on Canva and then I printed it over here in the right size. I'm gonna put these stickers on the boxes so far and then I'm going to drag this Target return down to my car because I want to take a break. So we're gonna take a break at Target. I got that thing in my car. Let's go to Target. And if you're wondering where little Princess Polly is right now, she's actually staying with my parents for the next month. We dropped her off this past weekend and she'll be there until like mid-September. We just wanna make sure we're like completely settled into the apartment before we introduce her to the space so she isn't stressed and she also isn't like getting into boxes and stuff that she shouldn't be. So it's kind of nice because I can have everything kind of out in the open in the apartment that normally I would try and like keep her away from like cleaning supplies and like cords and stuff. But it's really nice because we get to pack this week and like not have to worry about her like kind of running around our feet. So that's where Polly is. I just got home from Target Home Goods and TJ Maxx. I feel like I forgot to buy something while I was out, but I couldn't remember what it was. So I picked up more packing tape and some scissors because for some reason, like a lot of our scissors are broken. I swear they worked like last week, but got more scissors and tape. I swear I'm forgetting something. I mean, I made the return, so that's all that matters. So that was my little break. I'm starving. I should have gotten a snack while I was out because we don't have a lot of food left in the house because I'm obviously trying to use it up. I might literally eat another burrito bowl. Next up is 
the entryway closet, which has a bunch of coats and stuff in it. So I think I'm going to use space bags for that. But I'm going to eat this bowl because for some reason I'm just like so hungry. I think I'm going to start with shoes. Like whatever's in these little over the door things. finishing this closet but finally I got everything out I totally underestimated how much stuff I shoved in here but this is all that's left I just left the air mattress and then my boyfriend's tools up there because I figured these are two things that will probably go in our car with us just so nothing happens to them and then I'm gonna leave like the steamer and the vacuum and stuff tucked away in here just because I'll still need that while I'm cleaning out the apartment. I would say this closet is done now. And now this is the pile of everything I've packed so far. These little vacuum seal storage bags were crucial for that closet because all of our winter coats fit in these two. And then this is all of our extra bedding and then these are extra pillows. The extra bedding and pillows were in these two bins, but I figured since those are kind of plush and would go in a vacuum bag, it would be better to use these boxes for like kind of like odd shaped items and then vacuum seal those two. But I'm seriously so out of breath after that. I feel like I need to stop and eat dinner now because that really took a lot out of me. This is the state of the apartment. So obviously I think it would be best suited for me to kind of take a break from packing and just kind of clean this up a little bit. So that way I have a clean slate to work with tomorrow. <music> morning it's thursday now last night i just got dinner and then my boyfriend packed up some of the kitchen while i packed some of the living room up so uh, i didn't really film anything because it wasn't that eventful i'll show you what the progress we did make though i am going to goodwill right now because i wanted to i'll probably still have to take another load to goodwill but i just wanted to get some stuff out of the way because the clutter was kind of starting to stress me out so just wanted to take a quick load to goodwill it's not even nine o'clock in the morning yet so i might go to mcdonald's too for breakfast because a mcdonald's hash brown and a sausage mcmuffin and a large diet coke sound delicious thank you have a good one all right, the Goodwill Donation Center is closed today, so I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to donate these clothes. Normally there are those like drop-off boxes, but let me just eat my breakfast. I'm doing laundry behind me, so it's probably really loud and you can probably barely hear me, but I need to tackle the closet today or else I'm going to be so far behind and I think I'm going to start by essentially packing like an overnight bag for the next couple nights. Here, let's talk out here. I think I'm going to start by packing literally like an overnight bag like I would if I was going on a trip. So I have clothes for tonight because I'm going to hang out with friends tonight. So I need clothes for tonight, tomorrow during the day, tomorrow evening, Saturday, and then maybe even Sunday. So there's no rush like when we move in or when we have everything dropped off, there's no rush to like completely unpack it. So I need to plan how many outfits was that? Probably three casual and then two like nicer outfits just kind of pulled it aside so that's what i'm gonna do right now this is everything i just pulled out i think this should be plenty i think i'm gonna wear this dress tonight and then just like a random workout set maybe i'll wear that tomorrow shorts sweatshirt another workout set and then just a couple like cute but casual things in case we get dinner i'm going to pack all of this up i'm gonna use my big bays weekender for this <music> I 
never ending. I don't think I'm gonna make it out of here alive. It's almost noon and I wanted to be done with the closet by one. So that's not gonna happen. But I have made a decent amount of progress, I think. Um, I just kind of think I have to get over like my organizational aspect that I'm trying to do and just put clothes and boxes because I'm trying to put like all of my jeans and my shorts together. But because I'm doing that laundry, there's probably shorts in there. Um, so I just gotta give up on the whole organizational thing and just get everything in boxes because I don't really have the time to be this organized. So I need to finish this side of the closet in the next hour. And then I'm gonna stop for lunch, probably get some coffee or like a green tea lemonade or something because I need more caffeine and then I think I'm gonna stop for the day and do some work because I have videos that I need to edit and get sent to clients and then and then I have video ideas that I still want to post like on my own account in this apartment before I leave. I'm trying my best to get all of my content that's filmed in this apartment like up before I move because I don't want to move and then have like a makeup routine posted a week from now that's filmed in this bathroom i know no one would probably care but it's just like something in my head that i'm like hyper aware of so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try and get some content up today on my own accounts just so i'm not posting like stale videos and i also have some branded content like ads that i worked with brands on that i have to post on tiktok and i'm really excited to post them but they just like go through so many rounds of revisions and edits that um i think i have two or three that are still kind of in limbo that are filmed in this apartment that i'm trying to like push through and get them to let me post today and tomorrow just so um they stay current because i don't want to post like a sponsored self-care routine that's like in this apartment two weeks from now when people like already know i moved so i don't know you probably don't care um it's just like something like i take like I put so much thought into stuff like that. So I'm gonna finish this side of the closet, get some lunch and then do some work. I pushed all the furniture up on this side of the living room, kind of all piled onto each other because the moving company is gonna wrap it all of it anyways. And then over here, I just put all of the boxes and made sure they were all labeled. But I'm gonna try and organize and clean up a little bit out here because it's just making me so anxious to just like be in a space that's so disorganized. I kind of want it to be like an organized chaos. Right now it's just pure chaos. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try my best to like make sense of all this and have it kind of be in a good spot for when the movers come in. But this is a lot. I did not know I own this much stuff. Okay, this is what we're working with. I feel like this is way more organized. I'm feeling way better about everything. This is just some decor that I need to pack up and then we're keeping this. Got to take that down obviously and put that in a box. Um, this is stuff that's going in our car with us just because I don't want to make the movers deal with Polly's kind of borderline nasty stuff. And I just posted all that furniture on my Instagram stories and everything got spoken for. Obviously, like, I haven't taken anyone's money yet because they're gonna come pick it up and everything, but everything is sold slash spoken for. That is a huge weight off my shoulder because... I feel like Facebook Marketplace is so difficult and trying to sell things on there. I mean, we've all seen like the memes and the TikToks about it, but wow, that feels so good. I sold the bed frame, the nightstands, the headboard, the chair, my boyfriend's desk. I sold the kitchen table and the kitchen chairs and the entryway table by the front door. But I'm gonna go finish the closet now because it's still not done. I'm like so close but so far from being done in here. I'll admit it was pretty um, naive to think that all of my clothes would fit into my suitcases. Should I make a coffee? Is that aggressive? It's 3.42. My side of the closet is done and honestly <laughs> that was treacherous to say the least let me just show you i need to put labels but those three boxes are all my clothes it was probably not the best way to pack them but i don't know if i said this earlier but in previous moves i've done the like trash bag hack where you pull the trash bag up around the hangers and just like carry them and put them in your next apartment but i feel like that really only works for like local moves if you're moving between like apartments in your area because i just didn't want to depend on that like holding up in like a moving truck i don't know i felt like a box was a better option 
So we have three more boxes of my clothes. And I'm also humbled because I'm out of boxes now. Well, kind of. I have three boxes left um, and I'm going to need more. So I'm practically out. But I might as well just see what I can get in those three boxes because there's this situation too. All right, I decided I was done packing for the day. So I just got ready to go to dinner with my boyfriend and some of our friends. So we're going to go do that. We're going to a place in Georgetown. When we get back, we're going to take the TV off the wall and just box it up. And we might do a little bit more packing. But otherwise, I am done packing for the day. So I will just catch up with you guys tomorrow. It's Friday now and I just sold the kitchen table and chairs to someone from Instagram. So those are out of the way, which means we were able to move like that RH bed and all the furniture that was piled up in our bedroom out into the living room. So this is kind of what everything looks like now and now we're taking apart the bed because i sold this on instagram yesterday too so i'm gonna take some like detailed pictures just so she knows how to put it back together but this is about to be out of here okay here's a bedroom update we took apart the bed and now we just have this chair which i'm selling that too the desk is getting sold chair um will probably just get donated i didn't really want to sell that i felt like it wasn't nice enough for like anyone to come out of their way to get but this is where we're at my side of the closet is pretty much empty and then my boyfriend still needs to pack his clothes but this is an absolute disaster the bed frame is obviously going to go away probably going to sell that rug maybe we'll just bring it in case we need one but nightstands are getting sold but yeah this is where we're at my friend francesca is going to come she works from home so she's just going to like come sit and um help us out between like her meetings and stuff which is going to be super helpful so she'll be here um probably in the next like 30 minutes my boyfriend did take off work today to help out obviously and he doesn't like to be on camera so i'm not really sure how much more footage i'll get for like the rest of the day but i'll check in and show you guys the progress we're making and if we like run into anything oh i do think i'm gonna go to home depot to get more boxes maybe like more padding and stuff because we still have to do the whole kitchen. Sounds like a lot, but we're going to have more hands on deck today, so it'll be fine. Good morning. It's moving day. I totally kind of lost track of the vlog yesterday because it was pretty chaotic. My friend came over to help and she was honestly a lifesaver because I don't know how we would have gotten everything done without her. She basically packed up our entire kitchen. But yesterday was one of those days where we were making progress. Like obviously we knew we were making progress, but visually it didn't look any different. So I was kind of like unmotivated to give updates and then before I knew it, it was time to go to bed. We did go over to our neighbors who we hang out with a lot and we've gotten pretty close with. He's suctioning his face back right now. But we did go over to our neighbors because um, they were like want to come over for drinks one last time. And it was so sweet. I'm literally going to like get emotional if I think about it too long. But they had like set up a little like going away party thing for us with like a banner and balloons and a little like virginia themed gift basket like it was so sweet it was so sweet and unexpected so we stayed over there until probably like 1 a.m and then came home but it's like 6 30 right now and we're up early just to finish a couple last things mainly the fridge and then um like getting the bed and everything in its bag that's what's happening over in there i'm just putting on some light makeup and i'm gonna pack up the fridge and probably load my car with the things that we're taking in that but otherwise we are pretty much done i'll give you a walkthrough of everything right before the movers come but i think i'm just gonna end the video here because today is going to be a busy very overwhelming probably emotional day and i just know if i couldn't keep up with the video yesterday i'm definitely not gonna be able to keep up with it today so I don't want to hold you any longer, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for following along on this journey, and thank you so much for all the sweet messages and support that I've been getting about this move. I've been trying to reply to everyone, but packing has gotten me really far behind in my messages. All the nice messages do not go unnoticed, and they're very much appreciated. The next time you see me, I will be in the new apartment, so get excited for new apartment. Wish me luck. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you in Raleigh.